Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the another video. iOS 18 is going to release very soon. I did make a video about the release date of the iOS 18 RC version. You can go to my channel and check out that video. Well, iOS 18 is one of the biggest update in last decade. And here are the few changes I want to talk about in the reminders application, calendar application, and notes application. So this video is going to be about iOS 18 versus iOS 17 these three applications and what are the changes so over here as you can see i don't know why this happened airdrop happened i'm really sorry um as you can see the uh, this is the ios 18 this is the ios 17 they have same icons over here no difference in the icons at all however if i go and add it over here and go to customize there are darker version of these icons are available and that look dope being very honest but other than that there is no difference in terms of icon and as you can see i can place icons anywhere i want i will talk about that in another video now let's go to reminders over here and see what is different between between the both applications however there is no difference at all if i go and add a new reminder over here both are pretty much same for example if i create a reminder on the both apps help i don't know why i said help in the details both have same details date time tags location when messaging flag priority add image a url although on the iphone 14 i do have more space maybe because of the display size um, let me add this reminder over here now if i go and delete this reminder just like this i cannot recover that on the ios 17 however if i go and delete that reminder on the ios 18 there is a new option over here recently deleted so from here i can recover that reminder task whatever and i can move to any other list this is the only change available with the reminders application and reminders there is a change in the calendar regarding that i will talk about that over here now moving to the next application and that is calendar over here as you can see this is september and this is how it shows the month name and this is how it shows the month name on ios 18 it looks much better it defines the month very much over here you might able to find what the month is as you can see but this is showing in a very simple manner and this looks really great on the top section you can see there is difference in this icon and this icon well tapping on this you get this kind of a view where you can see the events of the day nothing else but over here there are multiple views available now tapping on this i get a couple of options over here stack details and list as you can see so stack is something like this details are something like this and list is something like this so there is only list version these looks identical being very honest as you can see but if i go back to the compact one and go back over here i cannot zoom in out my calendar on the ios 17 while on the ios 18 i can do that so this is really good also the haptic feedback is really really good this is the ui change in the calendars well there is a big change regarding calendar is that apple integrated reminders into the calendar application so if i tap on plus on the ios 17 i get these options i can create a new event as you can see there are other details available however if i tap on the plus button on the ios 18 i get event option along with that i also get reminders of option over here as you can see let me slightly turn on this as you can see so i can create reminders directly from the calendar application which is really great integration so these are the changes regarding calendar and reminders application now it's time to move to the notes over here so going into the notes pretty much same there are math notes available talking about the math notes there is a feature in the calculator application i will talk about that in some other video now if i go and create a new note over here and note over here on the ios 17 it is laggy i don't know okay finally i'm able to do it now on the bottom there is a new option this attachment option available on the ios 18 but on the ios 17 there is no option available regarding that also if i tap on this 
title over here format options over here as you can see the only difference and a big difference are these new color options and over here the color options are not available for example i go and write what i'm gonna write maybe subscribe and i'm gonna tap on this i can choose bunch of colors okay now i can choose bunch of colors regarding whatever i want as you can see over here i will do it again for you guys sorry it was not showing in the display however i cannot do this thing on ios 17 as there are no color options available also if i go back and uh, tap on this that is not available over here there is new record audio option available so i can record audio i can transcript it for example hey guys welcome back to the channel welcome back to the another video so today i am shooting a video regarding ios 18 versus ios 17 so i can record audio this will be very helpful where i can record um, um lectures or something and it also transcribe as you can see hey guys welcome back to the channel welcome back to the other video so today i'm shooting a video regarding i was 18 i was just had some couple of mistakes maybe because of my accent but it is pretty useful feature now audio recording is available in the notes application now these are some of the changes that are available in these applications and that are quite handy i was 18 easily one of the biggest update of the decade other than these three applications there are tons of changes available and i have made many different videos in, in which i talk about those changes well um what ios version you are using let me know in the comment section below i hope you like this video if you did give this video a big thumbs up do like and share this video subscribe to my channel and i will see you in my next video until that take care peace out